What's going on everyone, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here on Outside the Box bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. I'm going to be showing you all what I feel is the best method in the game to farm legendary items, whether you are a low level or a high level, whether you are on very easy difficulty or realistic difficulty, this is what I feel is the best method in the game to farm legendary items from legendary enemies of course, and it does not involve reloading your save whatsoever. Now the reason I point that out is because I do believe the method everybody probably knows about for the most part is where you find a legendary enemy in your game and I do believe there's a couple spots in the game where there's a guaranteed legendary enemy there such as with the legendary deathclaw if you guys know which area I'm talking about and basically you save right before encountering that enemy or maybe even just before killing that enemy and then you kill them and if they don't drop a legendary item that you want then you just reload the save you had just made before you killed the legendary enemy or encountered them and you kill them again and you just do this over and over and over until you get a legendary item that you actually want to keep and that is good and then you basically just go about your day now with this method though you're not going to have to worry about doing that you're going to be able to play the game exactly how you normally would and you're going to be able to have a chance of a legendary enemy spawning with every single enemy that you kill now the first thing you're going to want to do is buy a syringe rifle you can get one from dr sun i believe his name and he is found in the diamond city market if you fast travel there his little area of selling items is directly on the right now the next thing you're going to want to do is go into a chemistry station that you can make items on of course and you're going to want to make blowfly larva it is in the syringer ammo menu or section and it's going to cost you one blowfly gland which you get from killing blowflies uh, one glass which you can get from a shipment or other various items across the wasteland and then the one psycho which can be crafted bought or found across the wasteland as I'm sure most of you already know now to make the process easier of getting a bunch of the blowfly larva syringer ammo so you don't have to worry about having a bunch of resources or not having enough or coming back and making new batches all the time you can do one of two glitches here you can either do the unlimited crafting without resources glitch which will allow you to make as many blowfly larva syringer ammo as you want without using any of your resources or you can make one or however many blowfly larva syringer ammo you can or want to start with and then you can duplicate that stack of blowfly larva syringer ammo and basically keep doubling that stack as much as you want until you have thousands upon thousands of the ammo and you'll never basically run out. Now if you're unaware as to how to do either of those two glitches or one of them in particular you would like to try out, I will link them both at the top of the description below and then I will also put annotations on the screen to them both. Now once you have your syringer right as well as as much blowfly larva syringer ammo as you want you're basically just going to go out and find enemies to kill the idea behind this method to farm legendary enemies is to shoot the enemies before you kill them with the blowfly larva syringer ammo just a one per enemy and then when you kill them after that a blowfly will spawn from their dead body and each one of these blowflies that is guaranteed to spawn from each dead body of an enemy you kill has a chance to be a legendary blowfly and therefore guaranteed to drop a legendary item now one of the great things about this method if it wasn't already obvious or I didn't say anything about it already is that it's not tedious whatsoever. Unlike the method people were already doing before where you keep reloading your save over and over killing the same enemy over and over until you get a legendary you actually want to keep. You don't have to do that with this method. You can go about the game the way you normally would if you weren't doing this method. You can do your main story quest. You can do your side quest. You can explore the wasteland or you can choose to go to areas where you know there's going to be a lot of enemies there. Either Either way though, within all of those things, you can do this method and have the chance with every single enemy to have a legendary blowfly spawn from their dead body when doing this. And while playing the game as you normally would or going about this method however you'd like to, if you end up killing 10 legendary blowflies and none of them drop anything good that you want for legendaries, you don't have to worry about reverting to the save before you killed it and then killing it over and over again. You can just go ahead and leave those legendary items on the ground, you can pick them up and put them away for collectors reasons or you can just sell them but you don't have to worry about reverting back to a different save and killing them over and over again you can just go about your game and continue playing as you normally would in hopes that you continue to find more and then eventually do get those legendary items that you're specifically wanting so that's going to be about it for this video guys again that is what i believe is the best method in fallout 4 to farm legendary items right now it's just super ideal to be able to do this method so easily while continuing on playing the game as you normally would if you guys know a method that you think is better than this definitely be sure to let me know about it in the comments and if you have any questions you can feel free to ask in the comments as well i will be sure to get back to you as soon as i can aside from that i hope you all have enjoyed the video or found it helpful if so feel free to drop a like on it down below and
and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.